I mean, after 14 years of, you know, sitting down, I feel like, you know, I don't want to ever sit down again. No, I feel good. Yes. You know, hopefully they will have this approved for outside of a clinical setting and, uh, you know, just to be able to go for a walk around the block or something, you know, as simple as that is, uh, either, you know, that's a dream of mine. It's uh, called an exoskeleton device uh, called Rewalk, manufactured, created, invented in, your, in Israel. And we purchased two pieces of equipment uh, about four months ago for the purpose of engaging individuals with spinal cord injuries in a method of therapy that they otherwise would not have. It has a, an exoskeleton means the piece of equipment goes down the two sides of a person from the hips down with a hinge at the knee and a flat surface that would fit in a person's shoe. There's a backpack that carries a computer as well as two batteries and with a switch or control panel about the size of a person's watch it, you push a button and it would stand you up and with the uh, help of crutches you then lean forward and push another switch and it walks you. It literally walks the person. I mean there's some difficulty in the balance but for the most part that's not a big deal and I mean getting up and standing there is no problem at all. Brian was injured in a car accident when he was a senior in high school. He was a passenger in a car in which he received a serious spinal cord injury. He's been in his wheelchair for 14 years. He's a gentleman that wants to continue to engage the world fully. And this piece of equipment, we know, will help him uh, maximize those opportunities. The, uh, the best part is I get to look down on all the shorter people. And <laughs> it makes me feel good.